Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amra and this is Amra's Beauty Blog. I'm a freelance makeup artist with a passion for all things beauty. If you're a subscriber, then a welcome return. If you like this video, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads. Mm. I am going to be talking about the new Chanel Autumn collection that has just been released. I had an opportunity to visit the store in their boutique, which is near where I live, yesterday. And I managed to pick up some bits from the collection that I thought that you would like to see. I actually have one of their nail polishes on at the moment and this is in the colour Essential and I purchased quite a few of their limited edition lipsticks and their nail polishes. I picked up three of their lipsticks in the new Rouge Allure formula. I am aware now that all of these are limited edition. I might go back and pick up some more later and perhaps do another video showing you those ones that I pick up. I also had trouble getting some of the rest of the nail polishes so I've ordered those online which are being delivered to me this week. Let's take a look what I picked up from the collection. So if you look behind me you will see the Chanel bag. In that bag it will show you all the bits that I picked up. I picked up the new mascara as well and I picked up the eyeshadow palette in intensity. I picked up the lips and some nail polishes and the new eyeliner as well so there is so much to talk about today but I will make a start and I'll show you what I have in my box behind me. So first of all I just wanted to show you the Chanel bag. They kindly boxed this for me and I don't normally get the Chanel makeup in this bag so I'm quite impressed that it's the black bag and they asked me if I wanted a ribbon and I asked for the Chanel black ribbon and they really packed this up beautifully for me so let's take a look at what I picked up. So I just wanted to show you all the items that were gifted to me. So I got a couple of samples of the perfume. So I got the Coco Mademoiselle Chanel, which is my favourite. And I also got the number one de Chanel Le Rouge, which is the fragrance mist, and the Gabrielle Chanel Essence as well in the Eau de Parfum. And they also gave me some samples of the number one de Chanel Serum. I also got the Correcting Brightening Makeup Base, and it's in the colour Rosé. SPF 40 and it's a, a tester there. The Rouge Allure L'Extract and I've got a sample here which is great for travelling with and they also gave me a pouch and this is to put in little Chanel brushes. I did ask them at the counter and I said I've never actually seen any Chanel brushes this size before so this is what the pouch looks like um, and you open it up and then you can put the Chanel brushes inside. I mean I have the Kabuki brushes so I could probably use it for that but they also have their own cases anyway and I think these are more for like sort of smaller brushes so I'm hoping they will bring these brushes out at some point. Please let me know if you do have any Chanel little brushes because it'd be really good to know where I can get those from to put it in this case. And the other little thing that they gave me was this, which I was quite surprised about. I found it at the bottom of my bag. And this is a Chanel eye mask. So if you look inside, it has the Chanel logo. And oh, I can't wait to take this away with me when I go on holiday. This is a really nice Chanel eye mask. So when I'm trying to sleep, I've got my own mask here now. And it's got a little pouch as well. Please do not disturb, it says, and it's got Coco Mademoiselle on the corner. So that was a very nice touch. So I'm sure you're keen to see what's in the box now. So let's let's look at that together. So I just wanted to show you what was in the box. So I purchased four of the nail colours, which are limited edition, I believe. And I also purchased the base coat and the top coat, because I don't actually have any from Chanel. So I was told that that will help my nails. So I've got one of the colours on at the moment. This colour is called Essential and it's like a kind of caramelly colour and I love this kind of nude colour. I think it's very very nice. And I got three of the lipsticks and one of the Quadra eyeshadows and the new mascara and the new eyeliner. So I just wanted to kind of go through what I picked up when it comes to the nail colours. I got 953 Essential, 945 Emotion, 959 Infinetti and Desire which is 947 so I picked up sort of some really beautiful shades. I also have ordered two of the exclusive nail colours that is only available online and I think I've ordered Inspiration and Impulsion so those are the two that are coming but 
because I want to get this video out, they may arrive after that. So I will try and post it as another video. And then I also picked up three of the limited edition lip colours. I picked up 209 Alter Ego, 212 Caricature, and 196 Ademi Mott. So I picked up those three and the 58 Intensity Eyeshadow. And I picked up the Waterproof Long Lasting Eyeliner in Blue Carbon, which is also new. And the Mascara in number 10 Noir. Just to make things a lot easier, I have some foundation on from Chanel already and a little bit of blush so that we can just literally go into the eyeshadow and the lipsticks as well as the mascara and the eyeliner. For those that are interested, the foundation I have on is the Le Beige Water Fresh Complexion Touch, which recently I reviewed and has come out. And I also put on the Le Beige Water Fresh Blush in the colour Intense Coral. So I have that on at the moment. It's really, really beautiful. I also have underneath this, I think it's the Fresh Water Tint in Medium Plus. I started putting that first and then I realised that I needed some more coverage. So I've gone in with this new Le Beige on top and then this Le Beige blush on top as well. So I am loving this sort of natural look. And now we're going to go into the other things that I picked up. So I just wanted to show you my nail polish. So this is Essential and it's such a gorgeous caramel colour. That's the colour that I have on at the moment. For those who may or may not know, Chanel also do a base coat and a top coat. So I've got one of each because I've never purchased this before and I thought with me buying these nail polishes I wanted them to last longer. I have the base coat and the gel coat on top of the nails that I currently have on now and it gives the nail a gorgeous shine. I wanted to firstly start with the first nail colour that I have on at the moment and this is Essential. This is a gorgeous caramel like colour. I really really love this and this is limited edition and this is in the colour 953. The next colour that I wanted to show you is Emotion and this one is such a gorgeous colour. It's like a kind of rose colour when you have it on your nails and I just think this is gorgeous on sort of medium skin tone but I'm sure it will look beautiful on lighter skin tone as well. So this colour is the number 945 and again this is limited edition. So the next colour that I bought was Infinite and this one is in 959. In the camera you can't really see it as well but it does have like a brown undertone which when you wear this is absolutely stunning. The final nail polish that I'm talking to you about today is the colour Desire. This is like a really gorgeous sort of purple toned nail polish, nice and dark and vampy for like the autumn winter season. This is in the number 947. Again, this is also limited edition. These are the nail polishes that I picked up initially. There are two more on the way. I will try and do another video perhaps to show you how those two colours look or else I will do some photographs and post them on my communities tab or on Instagram. But I will definitely demonstrate how all of these look on my nails. Let's first start off with the 58 Intensity Eyeshadow and this is the pouch that it comes in. You open it and you can see you've got the Chanel logo and then these are the colours. Really, really wearable shades and it's definitely not as daring as I remember from last season but I do really, really like this colour scheme and it's very wearable which is fantastic. There's a sort of highlighter shade here. Here you've got sort of like a matte finish, a satin finish, another sort of satin finish and then a matte shade just there. So I like the balance of this quad. So I just wanted to show you the arm swatches of the colours. Very, very pretty. So I recently purchased some Wayne Goss brushes. I haven't actually got many Wayne Goss brushes and picked number 13, number 14, number 10 and number 16. And I'm really excited to try these in my videos for you that I'm filming at the moment. The one that I'll use for this one is going to be 16 and we're going to try this eyeshadow quad out together now.
Okay, so I've just added some shadow on. I really, really love this shadow. It's very, very wearable, really easy to wear. I'm not sure if this shadow is limited edition, but I will put that down below if it is, but it's a gorgeous, gorgeous color story. So now we're gonna move on to the lipsticks. And I was fortunate enough to be able to go into the boutique store and try these on because I'm the kind of person that I find it very difficult to pick lipsticks online. Because my lips are pigmented, I prefer to, if I can, try them in store. And when I heard that these were being released in store, I wanted to wait a little bit longer so that I could go in and try them before I made my decision. So I decided to go with these three because they suited me best. And I picked up 209 Alter Ego, 212 Character, and a Demi Mott 196. Now, we're going to start off with a Demi Mott. The nail polishes and these lipsticks are limited edition, so I'm just going to show you what it looks like. So, you've got the Chanel logo at the tip, you can see it there. You press the button, out it pops, and then you have the color. So, this is a Demi Mott, and it's kind of like a more pinky toned color. So, let's try this on now. So this is a Demi Mott. So before I move on with the other lip colours, I just wanted to put on some mascara and an eyeliner. So this mascara is their brand new Noir Allure mascara. I got an opportunity to try this in store because they had a little sample size that I could try. So we're going to try this one on together now. What I love about this is it's similar to the Rouge Allure lipsticks where you have the Chanel logo at the top, but you press the button and as you do that, out pops the mascara. I just want to show you this one before I do the other side. Can you see how fine the bristles are? I think because the bristles are really fine, you get to every lash and it really lengthens and gives you volume. If I just compare this side to this side, you can see that this has lifted and lengthened. It's really, really good. I really like the effect that this has. It's really sort of lifted and then separated my lashes. I'm really impressed. I actually was really impressed in the store as well, hence the reason why I picked this up. But oh, it's made my lashes really sort of fine and stick out and separated each of the lashes as well. The other thing I wanted to show you was their new waterproof long lasting eyeliner and it's in the colour Blue Carbon number 44. I tried this in store and fell in love with this colour. It's like a cross between a bluey grey. It's very, very beautiful. So this is with the eyeliner on. So the next colour we're going to do is Alter Ego. So this is Alter Ego. So this is Alter Ego. So the last colour that I picked up was the colour 212 Carrick Tear. So this is Carrick Tear. It gives me Lisa Eldridge Night Thoughts vibes.
This is Carrick Tear. So here are the arm swatches of the three lipsticks. You have a Demi Mott, Alter Ego, and the last one, which is Carrick Tear. That's definitely more on the sort of more pinky side, rosy side. That's on the more browner side. That is brown, but a more sort of deeper brown. I just did some arm swatches with the Lisa Eldridge lipsticks recently that I picked up. This one is Night Thoughts, so it has no resemblance to any of the ones I picked up at all. The one that really is closest is probably Meet Me in Berlin, but that is still even lighter. Then you have Carrick Tear, which is there, and then you have Alter Ego. So there is some similarities in the sense they're from the same brown family. Well, this one's definitely more intense. This one moves away from the Meet Me in Berlin, so they're not the same. They are different. Okay, so that is the entire collection that I've picked up. I am still thinking about a lipstick from the limited edition range that I may pick up, but I do think this collection is beautiful. I'm disappointed that they are all limited edition because they are really, really lovely colours, but I know that they are meant to be for the autumn, so it's kind of like maybe they just bought them out so that they're a little bit special. I am really pleased I picked up the nail polishes. I'm looking forward to receiving the other two. I also wanted to talk about the lipsticks, the formula. I do love this formula. It's very moisturising and the colours are really lovely and very autumn based so I'm really pleased I picked those up. When it comes to the eyeshadow quad I love the colours this is a really gorgeous colour story. I love the mascara it really lifted and separated my eyelashes and I love the fact that it's got that push button mechanism like the lipstick. I also love the eyeliner because it's a cross between like a bluey grey which I think is a little bit different. I hope you enjoyed this this is such a gorgeous, gorgeous look. I love these colours. They are beautiful. I don't think you're going to go wrong with anything you pick up from this collection. I would highly advise you, if you are near a store, to go in and try these first because not everything is going to look the same and I have more pigmented lips. What looks good on me on my lips may not look as good as on you. So I would go in and try that first to see whether you can find some colours that will suit you. There are a huge range of colours. I believe this collection was brought out to match the kind of natural neutral shades that they currently have. It's a lovely sort of combination that they're doing and yeah I I really, really love this collection. So please do let me know your thoughts. Are you picking anything up? Have you picked up anything? Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you.